Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.15 from Sadiku book. So the question is apply nodal analysis to find I0 and the power dissipated in its resistor in the circuit of figure 3.64. Okay, we have the resistor but here in Siemens, maybe let's convert that into ohm first. Okay, 6 Siemens is equal to 1 over 6 ohm so i will have 1 over 6 ohm here and then 5 siemens is equal to 1 over 5 ohm we can just put the inverse here so 3 siemens this is just 1 over 3 ohm. okay that's good okay nice now let's Let's set this bottommost node here as our ground here. So the voltage here will be zero. But here we have a 10 volt voltage source between two nodes here. Let's name this node as V1 and this node here as V2. We need to treat this as a super node. Why? Because we cannot determine the current between V1 and to here so we need to treat this gray highlighted part here as our super node okay maybe let's label let's label that as our super okay that's good and let's name this node here as v3 good and now let's assume the direction of the current maybe this is going down this is going down this is going down and this is going to the right and then this is going up i just follow the 4 ampere source okay that's good now let's do kcl at the super node so i have kcl at super node KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see in the super node. All the currents is going out, right? There is no current that goes in into super node, so I will have a zero. And there are four currents that goes out. This one, this one, that one, and that one. Maybe let's start from this one first. This is V1 minus 0 divided by 1 over 6. But then that means that we multiply that by 6. So I have 6 V1 minus V0. Good. And then we will have what else? this one here. Using the same logic, I will have 5 multiplied by V2 minus 0. So I have V2 minus 0. Okay. And then this one I will have plus 3 multiplied by V2 minus V3. V2 minus V3. And then we still have one more current which is 2 ampere. So I will have plus 2. Maybe let's let's shift this slightly to the left so i will have a room for plus two so i have plus two good now let's do what we can do uh, let's move this two to the left hand side so i'll have minus two and then we will have six v1 minus v0 Six five one. Oh minus zero. This should be zero, not v zero. So I will have zero here. Okay, so I will have six v one from here, and then I will have five v two from here. So I have five v two, and then we will have plus three v two minus three v three. Okay, that's good what can we do from here 5 plus 3 is 8 so i will have 6 v1 plus 8 v2 minus 3 v3 is equals to minus 2 okay so i will have this is equation 
Okay, let's do another KCL, but this time at T3, right? The only other notes that we can do. KCL at T3. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, that's good. Now, the only current that goes in is this one. Oh, and this one. So, I will have this one, which is... 3 multiplied by V2 minus V3. It's actually V2 minus V3 divided by 1 over 3. So it will be 3 multiplied by V2 minus V3. Okay. And then this one here is 2 ampere. So I'll have plus 2. And then that will equals 2. Oh, this also goes in. So all the currents is going in. So I'll have plus there is no current that goes out, so I will have zero on the right side. Okay, so we will have 3 V2 minus 3 V3. 2 plus 4 will become 6. Let's move 6 to the right hand side, so I will have minus 6. So I will have this as the second equation. So, so far we have two equations, but three variables. We need one more equation. So we need to see this and what voltage source okay let's write that so inside the super node. okay inside the super node we can see here the difference between v1 and v2 has to be so we will have v1 minus v2 is equal okay. so this is the third equation here so we have three equations and three variables. We should be able to solve them, but maybe let's write this as a matrix to make things easier. So to see, so I will have 6, 8, and minus 3. And then this one will be 0, 3, and then minus 3. And then this one will be 1, minus 1, and then 0. Then we will have V1, V2, and V3. Okay, good. All of that will equal to minus 2, minus 6, and then. Okay, from here we should be able to find out V1, V2, and V3. Let's set this up. Equation solver is number 5, 3 variables is number 2, and I will have 6, 8, minus 3, and then minus 2. Good, and then I will have 0, 3, minus 3, and then minus 6. Good, and then 1 minus 1 and then 0 okay we will have the value of v1 here is 54 over 11 so we'll have v1 is equal to is it 54 over 11 and the unit will be volt, right? And we only need V1 actually because we are asked about I0. But the other, I think, yeah, you can check it yourself. Because we only need V1 here, we can go ahead and calculate I0, which is 54 over 11 divided by 1 over 6. Okay. Maybe, maybe let's use calculator to calculate that. So I will have 44 divided by 11 divided by 1 over 6. Good. And so we will have 25.45. 29 29.45. And the unit here will be ampere. And that is the final value that we are looking for. 29.45. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.